Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 9 of Monster Girl Doctor. It's been like two weeks since I saw this last episode. Um, so, uh, last episode, the uh, dragon, like, ruler of this city, uh, she's sick now. <laughs> it seems this uh, Monster Girl Doctor is a very busy guy. Uh, because there's always someone sick around him, and it's usually a very big deal. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's literally the ruler of the entire city now, who apparently didn't say anything until now. Um, but yeah, let's just see where this goes. So it's after this. Oh no, that means we're going to see more of her. I don't know what we're going to see when he opens that door. Yeah, all right. Well, that's terrible. God, what an awful design. Just bad. I think she's also one of those characters that always seems to have a toothache with her arm. Or her hand on her cheek all the time. God, she looks so bad. <laughs> There's a lot of gross tentacle visual uh, happenings going on. So she hid this until now, even from her primary physician. I was wondering if he would do that, because I totally would do that if she tried to grab me. Sadly, it seems biting her wouldn't have the effect I, I would have liked. Seems she doesn't feel anything when you bite her. But I have to say, uh, 
being an op octopus lady much uh, must be pretty useful for practically anything, considering she has like a lot of very dexterous arms. I do wonder why they're putting the, the 3D character parts like front and center. You should never do that. It does not look good. So it seems no matter how he stitches her, she still looks extremely roughly patched up. Please don't ruin things again. <laughs> Sadly, it seems her figure isn't as good as I thought it would be. Wait, what? No, she doesn't. She's severely unstable. So how's this going to go? She doesn't seem to want to be treated, so... Good, she won't get in the way anymore. No, you stay out here. Yeah, she looks pretty good from the back. I like her voice. She figures no, no, she's pretty good actually. I guess she just looked different in different shots. All right, that was easy.
The blue color, I will say, looks much better than her original design. So, like, her being sick makes her look better. That is really weird. Also, okay, I guess she just doesn't have nipples. Why is he rubbing it? <laughs> You're still rubbing it. <laughs> Oh, you're a Time Lord. So how are you going to solve this? That's an interesting mythology, actually. I think you got the best end of the deal here. It's very creepy. What exactly are you doing? <laughs> all right, all right, she's second best girl. I didn't realize she would end up being this adorable. Hopefully none of this is contagious. I mean, yes, she, she explained it as it being something that was that happened to dragons, but who knows how it may affect other races. <laughs> He's just feeling everything, isn't he? <laughs> he just wants to find your most sensitive spots. <laughs> now you guys are going to come and ruin things. It's not infidelity. Oh, no, we're back to her. So I was saying, uh, okay, well, guess they're going with surgery. It's 
Seems pretty invasive. She's agreeing to it. She was going to do it regardless, right? The only reason she wasn't really doing anything was because she didn't want anything being done. Oh, you inspected it that extensively, I see. No, oh, no, not again. Don't touch him with those. She is one of the most good-looking ones out of all the characters so far. Like, her design is probably, like, the best out of all of them. Yeah, she might be one of the worst characters, definitely. I I really dislike her. There should be a police system, hopefully. That they can call. I mean, after she does the surgery, obviously. Then they can accuse her of all the stuff that she's done to them. But it seems they don't care. Oh, no, not her. Oh, yeah, the, the two worst characters. <laughs> Seems all of the spiders have the exact same design. Though that their design is so much better. <laughs> Randy, huh? <laughs> God, she's annoying. Yeah, no, annoying.
Also, this is the first time I've actually listened properly to the way they pronounce her name, and they call her Araña, which is spider in Spanish. Are you remembering the feeling of that pulsating growth that you were rubbing for a very long time? Is that why you were looking at your hand? I hope she stays blue after this, because she looks so much better blue. All right. Well, um, that was episode nine. Probably the best fan service of this entire season so far, to be honest. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.